video guys today I'm going to take you through my full body workout using only one dumbbell so a lot of people requested this video and I also have some body weight only workout check out my previous videos if you want to check those out so yeah today we're going to do a full body workout and we're going to start off with some legs then moving on to chest back shoulders arms and more isolation work so we're going to start off with the bigger muscle parts and then we're going to finish with the smaller muscle parts and more isolation exercises so i'm going to try to keep it as simple and effective as possible so we've been dealing with this situation for like a couple of weeks now and i know that a lot of people have got some weights for at home so that is great so now you can do some more things you know body weight exercises are cool but it's just better to have some kind of resistance you know so you can pretty much train your entire body with only one dumbbell and that's what I'm gonna show you guys today so without further ado let's get to the workout so I got my dumbbell right there and the first exercise that we're gonna do is a squat so if you want to hit your legs pretty good make sure that you do some kind of squat movement because squats is the best compound movement that you can do for legs so I'm gonna start off with a goblet squat or a front squat whatever you want to name it and i'm gonna go for a neutral stance and i'm gonna hold the dumbbell here in front of me and go as deep as i can pause for a second and then come up reps we're keeping the rep range pretty high because the weight is not that heavy so we want to go for more reps to really feel that burn so you can also do a sumo squat or a close stance squat a close stance is more for your quads and if you do a sumo squat it's more uh, hamstring in a thigh include focus so yeah you can do a lot of variations so the next exercise is a bulgarian split squat and the bulgarian split squat is one of the best leg exercises that you can do in my opinion because again it hits your entire leg the quads hamstrings glutes and with the bulgarian split squat you can also do the variations like i said with the squat so let's say for example that you want to hit your quads more you go for a closer stance so it really hits your quads more but if you want to hit your hamstrings and glutes more just take another step and go for a wide stance and that way you really feel the stretch in your hamstrings and you also hit your glutes pretty good so yeah again do whatever is best for you pretty good because the reps are pretty high so you really go for that burn and up is pretty good so moving on to chest and back we're gonna do a superset because we want to keep the intensity high and I don't want to make the video too long for a full body workout so the first exercise for chest is a floor chest press so I'm gonna pick up the dumbbell and do a just a regular dumbbell press but on the floor so pause for a second push up and squeeze squeeze Bye. 
say dumbbell, chest fly, incline, chest fly. So when you pick up the dumbbell, really squeeze the chest at the top, hold it for a second and then come down. careful you can injure yourself pretty easily and you don't want to do that so if you're going for that exercise for the upright row make sure that your shoulder is warm enough warmed up properly and then make sure that your form is pretty good so so we're gonna keep your dumbbell bent in front of you and really use your side out to bring up the weight Triceps, only one exercise for each muscle group, and we're gonna superset those two exercises. We're gonna finish off with one exercise for abs. So, the superset is going to be a dumbbell curl, just a regular curl, 
if you don't like the dumbbell curl you can also do a hammer curl so do whatever you like you can also do two parts so you do two sets of normal dumbbell curls and two sets of hammer curls if you want to switch it up so do whatever you like and we're going to superset that with a overhead dumbbell extension for the tricep and that one really hits the long end of the tricep biggest part so yeah it's a really good exercise video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next workouts food videos cooking videos challenges whatever you like just let me know and I'll make it happen thanks for watching and stay safe I'll see you